Legends, Scarlet Legends, this is Agent N107, and welcome to Finding Paradise. Welcome back to Casual Gaming, and, um, this has been a, so, my second Casual Gaming was To The Moon. This is just a quick recap, it's been ages, and it's actually a game I really enjoyed. I waited forever-ish. I think the sequel was, was on the horizon when I did To The Moon, but it's been, like, ages, and now we have the, the sequel. I think there's other games in between at all I haven't played, but I've been waiting a very long time to play this, so we're just getting into it. <laughs> ah! I'm gonna just turn it up a little bit. Get a little immersed in the experience. Yeah, this was uh, the last game. It was one of my favorite, like, RPG Maker experiences. No, not again. Not again. No! No! <laughs> no! No! Oh! Oh my! Because, <laughs> yeah, I played some other media that was also the, on To the Moon that I never actually. The video is on. I don't remember any of the voices I gave these two. What the? Eva? That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. Hope you learn something. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self inflicted critter casualties later. Logic. Enlightening. We <clears throat> we should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow. <clears throat> wow. Only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Do you want to make sure you're going to clean those then? Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with the, with them every year. Oh. And then I have to eat them for ages. Oh. Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean. <laughs> Don't you mean pine apples? I miss Watts. I'm not hungry anymore. Oh, oh, don't make a mess with the apple, Watts. So weird seeing some of the, the, the angles of the vehicle sticking. <gasps> How mean of you. Listen, changing people's memories so they had a better life. It's hard work, and I I can change. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's probably really bad to use this device on children. It, I'm I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty certain. Wow! Check out this rad bike. Why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we are to visit dead people. Not to get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after that trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half dead people. Very different things. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours. Oh, sure. I'll, yeah, yeah, don't mind me. I'll do all the work. Whoa, wait. Can I... Oh. Oh, that's weird. That um, this is how the game. Uh, this is a to the moon plate, so I'm playing it this way. Okay, let's roll. Like a cucumber. What? You know, cucumber roll sushi. Yeah. Oh no. That's. 
<laughs> oh no, that's quite a stretch. Uh, yeah, uh, it's robots roll out, thank you. Alright, what are you all... Hmm. There's a leaking sprinkler over there. Oh, you're talking about the child, aren't you, Watts? Hey, now... <clears throat> hey, now. Are you a rock star? Get your game. What are you doing? You crazy, crazy little animal, you. Hey, now. What happened here? <laughs> I don't think you can hear it. I don't know. She... She kicked... Who named their kid Potato? Potato? She kicked, she kicked my teddy bear, a teddy, and my teddy into the water. My teddy's in the water. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? Who wears your hair? But Ma said my bun buns are pretty. Yeah, well, she also named you. Uh, don't worry. We'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this one. Yeah, let's do it lots. Hey. What? Huh? Is that, is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. I'm going, this is unlike the. Oh. did you do? What? What do you mean? <clears throat> oh no, oh no, I have hiccups. No, 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 no. I have a lot of talking to do. What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for. Yay! You're my hero. No problems, kid. In your face. Spin and dance, spin and dance. This is so messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Eva. Kinda like tuna. Are we gonna, are we gonna s save the bear? Okay, guess not. I'll take the long way. Don't mind me. Oh, Sophia. Hello? Hey there. Hey there, it's... I don't know. <laughs> this is Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah, hope we're on time. Um, are you letting us in? I'll wait outside the door for you. What was that? What was what? Did did you not feel the blast of ice with the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're uh, to lay out a picnic. Alright, maybe it's just me. <laughs> Hello, sir. Sir? Sir, can I stop you? Oh, oh. I'm gonna touch your box. Touched. Yoink. Here is here to fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How'd you know? This is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Oh, oh, there's a lot of people living here. Okay. 
Colleen, <clears throat> Colleen Reeds. Colin Reeds. Know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go on and give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. Okay, jeez, people. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, was he in World War Four or something and <laughs> was on the wrong side? <laughs> what was the, the coldness about his... About <laughs> I forget Bouse, am I right? Question marks. Always makes the job so cumbersome. Depends on the person. And like I can't I can't have like audio backup because I'm not recording my my IRL cam today. Dr. Rosaline uh, Rosaline uh, Dr. Rosaline, is it? <clears throat> and Dr. Watts. Ahem. <coughs> Oh, jeez. Yes, we're here for Colin. Of course. Thank you for the both for you both coming. Right this way. <coughs> oh, jeez, no. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, hold on. I'm gonna. I should have drank my water when the game was broken. Okay. Suspicious. Yes. Tell me, what do you want to change? Okay. I have no clue what I'm going to do. I know the games are short. I think it was like six episodes of like 30 minute episodes. So, well, that's what I'm going to aim for, I think. Huh. This is quaint. <clears throat> this is a quaint place you got. Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Okay. <clears throat> ah, no. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, because right now I just really need to put this box down. My arms hurt. Darn it. Why? Brain. Eva. My arm. Oh, jeez. Fun. Eva. My arms are literally falling apart. Let us go. Oh, go. Listen, the box is making me hiccup. And I can't breathe. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Non Computer. You don't say. Oh, oh lordy. Like this happened last time. You must be here for my father. Yeah. Oh, my me and Hiccupig. Oh. <laughs> You're the patient son? Yeah. I came as soon as I heard. Yeah. I came as soon as I heard. But we can talk later. We don't. Why don't you get it set up first? That box looks heavy. See? He gets it. Sorry. Uh, where am I going? Did I talk to her then? Where's the medical doctor? He's here. He just went to the washroom. Is that table over there enough to get you set up? Yeah, that'll do. Do you? That'll do. Okay. Are you guys ready to get settled? I mean, I could look around more, but like, because I okay, not not yet. My colleague could use more work. Workout, carrying the equipment around. She's always taking care of me. Yay! I, I th you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm I'm gonna set the machine down. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Just give us a moment. I don't remember how much I explored last time. I mean, it was a big mansion. I didn't really know where I was going. Uh, that was pretty straightforward. Where to go? Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, jeesh. But first, brace yourself for a power outage of cinematic proportions. I guess you got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. That's equally comforting as it is worrisome. You, you're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time if you ask me. So you two are for real? What do you, what do you mean? 
<laughs> you can really fulfill his wish? Yes, Sophia. We should try to, anyways. We'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed because... It would only be in his head, though. No, not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? Yeah, fess up. What does he want? He wouldn't tell us. He, he said it doesn't affect us. And we have... <clears throat> oh, sorry. He said it doesn't affect us. And we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. I... Look, that's... Look, that's that's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in his, in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't worry about it. Listen, we have to talk to him anyways. But seriously, where did the file go? <laughs> it wasn't in the box? Nope. Guess I might have left it in the car. Oh, right. I guess we got it. Time while the machine's booting up. Oh, right. I guess we have time while the machine's booting up anyways. Uh, Dr. Watts. As always, I'm sorry, Ava. I'm too much into Watts, like, chaotic neutral energy, okay? It's, it's my... <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, spot. <laughs> Decide! <laughs> I'd rather play logic. You f uh, you forgot it, so you go get it in the end. Oh, okay, that actually makes sense, actually. Well played, Spock. That's amazing. I had no clue what that was when I played the it. When I played the original. Now I do. I know. Uh, it's great. I've updated the system. It's practically configuring itself now. Good. That'll save some time. Already down to business, Hole. Yeah. Hey, I remember you. Yeah, it's been a while. Although, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lin assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but their rosters were full at the time. So we heroically volunteered. Turned out they, they got nothing to do today, though. Hmm, I guess you never know the timing, the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go check on the patient. Oh, I don't remember you. I don't know if you're from something else. From a different one? Neil, don't forget to get the patient status monitor from Colin's medical doc first. Oh, good idea. Wouldn't want to be snoozing when it gives the long note. Watts. <laughs> There's a thing called tact. I think it's what that's called. <laughs> you gotta be a little over. Here, this should help. Proceed remote patient monitor. Okay. Colin's heart rate monitor is now activated. Press escape or click. Okay. Trusty little wireless thing. Just hope it doesn't give me tumors. Good old save. Okay, onwards. We're gonna see where we're going. Oh, come on. Is it, are you gonna, okay. Listen, I got a long way to go. I got a lot of walking to do. Okay, I'm gonna snoop about your house for a second. Don't mind me, I hit the wrong button. Can I just, can I, can I snoop? I wanna snoop. Might as well get to the car. First, Ava will be able to check this place out when she's ready. Proceed anyway. Once on second thought, <laughs> screw it. Listen, listen. I'm gonna snoop. I'm snooping now. Okay. I wasn't gonna snoop earlier, but snooping seems like a great idea. The heck? Ooh, ooh. Huh? It's like the book version of solitary confinement. Oh. Taped shut. They clearly don't want it open. Oh, don't make me. Don't make me choose! I'm curious. Well, for the sake of science. Hmm, 
just a bunch of blank pieces of paper glued into the spine. Weird. Maybe there's just some rubbish left over, over after all. Alright, listen. Received note. Green book. What if we're... What if we're already in the dream? Desk cover mirror. I don't know, this is like the perfect game for dream theory, right? Um... He, he did spit up blood for something. Oh. Oh, sorry. I was I went quiet for like a jump cut. I probably just cut out the few minutes of silence. Oh. Neil wasn't kidding. This thing really is configuring itself. Does that now? Yeah, apparently the new paint isn't the only upgrade. I guess that means I got I get some time to snoop around the house. Cool. In the meantime, I'll go monitor the patient like a real doctor. I kid, I kid. Uh, hold on. Let me... Let me get Neil in here. Neil. Thank you. There you go, Neil. Can I? No, you wouldn't do this to me. Alright, let me, let me go a bit here. Okay, hmm. You got your bear back. Yep, a nice lady in a brown dress swooped into the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. You should lay off the sugar, kid. Ain't good for your head. I don't know why I got it all western east about it. But there we go. I'm curious. Why, hello there. Who's dying, dearie? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. They are coat and dag. Are you from Sigmund? If you're here, then someone's time is up. Colin Reeds, do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with the, my husband and me here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. Uh, you sound awfully calm about it. If I were your friend, I'd be worried. After years of seeing everyone around you go, it's hard not to be. But then, you of all people should know that well. Yeah, very well. Okay. I'm on my way, my car, to get me some stuff. Okay. Click, click. Gib, gib. Or not. Honk. Oh, wait, that was just my phone. Dag nabbit, did I leave it at the office? Hello? Ross, it's me. Neil, still hiding your caller ID. Getting calls from unknown. Feels like I'm in a horror, m horror movie, you know? My bad. I'll turn it off next time. No, oh, I love the suspense. Every time I'm like, am I getting cursed? Are the feds coming after me? The excitements are endless. Um, alrighty, anyways. Look, are you still in the office? I think I left the patient's file on the printer. Oh, okie dokie pokey Loki. Just give me a moment. Okay. Hey. You got the file? Uh, Eva, I think I forgot it back at... You, what? Don't worry, I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. Okay, just take care of it. Alright, let me... Did you find it, Rox? Yep. It was just sitting on the table after all. Great. Just scan it and... Wait, my table? You're in my room? Yep. You can get the file, right? I meant... I meant from the printer in the lobby. How'd you get into my room anyhow? I locked it. Oh, 
A girl's got her ways. That's very dangerous. Okay, look. Just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> and don't touch anything. I just organized it. Yep, 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 on it. I feel like touching the entire room. Oh. What a find. Sorry, I burped. I'm so sorry. You guys got everything else you need? Yeah, Eva's configuring the machine right now. How is the weather out there? What? Is it nice out? For, is it a nice out for? Is it? Is it nice out for a drive? I guess so. You know, I think I'll just come over and get you your, the file in person then. What? And why? Just scan it. <clears throat> just scan it and send over a copy. Well, we've got no patience today, and it's boring here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then. No, 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 no. We need it before we begin. Wait, rocks. Sorry. Sorry, I have to adjust. Dang, nabbit. Okay, off I go back inside. I didn't do a lot of swapping. Okay. They're not gonna make me do... Get some... Okay. I meant to do more swapping, but I kinda wanted to finish. I didn't wanna get myself distracted. I should get someone to show me around. Okay, let's talk to Ash. Sure. Anything I can help you with, Doc? Think you should think you could show me around the apartment while we're waiting on my colleague? Of course, I'll come with you. I'll come with Asher. Join the party. Let's go. What do we got? Oh, hello, what's this? Is that a clue? A model of a small fixed winged aircraft. Huh. Is this your dad's? It sure is. It sure is. It sure is. Oh my goodness me. Okay, hold on. I have to... I'm changing tactics. Ignore why I have to change tactics. Ah. He used to be an airline pilot. Uh, I guess it reminds him of his roots. Oh my. Okay, is, th is that your parents? Yeah, that's them. I remember, uh, <clears throat> I remember being embarrassed about that picture as a kid, but it's kind of a sweet that they kept it for so well. So, uh, kept it, whatever. But I, I'm sorry. It's 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 important. A pot of homegrown what? Guess. Oh, must be hard work growing tropical plants all the way out here. I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. Yeah. Dang it, why is the toilet paper never on the dispenser? <laughs> One day they'll thank me for the, the unsung hero I, that I am. An age diddle, digital piano. This is my mother's old keyboard. She used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the days. Intentionally, I hope. Dusty uh, cello with quite a few scratches across the board. Also, your mother's? Or. No, this is my father's. He played it a lot back in the day. But not anymore, it seems. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He usually just plays the scales, though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Ooh. Huh. Seems like they missed one. I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. <clears throat> hmm. 
the tape. It's been ripped off. What a strange man. Hmm, there's nothing in this. Huh? It's nothing but stacks of empty pages glued to the spine. They're all wrinkled, too. That's odd. I would totally put that in my house at old age just to mess with people. It's been around for ages, though. Maybe whatever was on there faded? These aren't receipts, but I guess it's possible. Either way, there's not much I can do with this. Let's keep moving. It's going to be so important. It's going to have secret codes on it. Oh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. What? Tell me. Here's the family photo album. Goes way back. A physical photo album? In this day and age? Feels like I'd turn to dust if I'd opened it. It's, it's quaint, but I guess they liked having something they can touch. They can touch. Look. Look through it. If you want, I'll go check on my father. I should go get the machine ready, too. My colleague will be at back soon. But I'll check this out for, for a bit first. Memorize them, Eva. Memorize the faces. <sighs> Adorable. I can't tell what the one up in the corner is exactly portraying. Okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> just a little. Oh, it's a piano. I'm dumb. Ignore me. Alright. Are we off to see the wizard? Oh no! I didn't realize how much has gone by. Um. How are we doing here? I mean, like, I guess this is kind of how it started, too. I, I got through all the... refined. How are we doing here? Good. Got my part done. How about the file? You said Roxy is sending the scans? Oh, how about the file? You said Roxy is sending the scans. Uh, she said she's delivering it in person for some reason. For some reason. What? That's wasting both our time and hers. Hers mostly. We we can still start. Still. A mean. Yeah, I know. Oh, she's a bit a cucumber. She's a bit of cucumbers in the head and all, but yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Language, Eva. Anyway, we'll worry about her loopiness later. Shall we start? Alright, just get the patient equipped up. Uh, Neil? Hmm? Never mind, we'll, we'll talk later. Your helmet is on the recliner. We're all set. Alright. In we go to the wild blue yonder. Commence memory transferal. Ready. Let me get my air out. Wait. Before you begin, could you tell me what you're all what you'll be doing in there? <clears throat> er we're going through his memories to grant him his last wish. Duh. I thought you already knew. Yes, I did know that, but... How? What will you actually be doing? Well... I... know. But they don't know. Um... We're gonna elaborate. We actually don't do much. It's the machine that does most of the work. 
says the technician. Who knows best? The machine calculates the uh, premutations of possibilities and creates a new tangent of, a li of life. In the forms of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him it will be indistinguishable from a lifetime of real memories. However, the premutations the machine calculates would still have to be logically coherent. So it needs a starting point and a change in a key variable. And that's where we come in. We tunnel through his memories from the most recent to as far back as we need, drawing a line from now to then, we'd then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the ways to his past. So in his simulated life rerun, he'll make all the Kikar decisions and fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition? Is that enough? I'd, I'd have thought that fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. I mean, can't you two just make whatever needs to happen, happen? Okay. Perhaps, but one problem. He's not brain dead. There are a few things that uphold the illusion of reality. Il illo illogical happenstance aren't one of them. And since the world still must be self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not a cave painting. There's a little need for interference anyhow. Willpower is usually more than enough. Not everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. Motivation comes and come and go. They always start strong, then plateau, then fade. But, in a simulation based on the mental state of a single moment, stretched through a lifetime. Let's just say that it's some powerful voodoo mon. Okay, you don't need to say that. I'm sorry, I said it. <laughs> anyhow, <clears throat> anyhow, no amount of volition is going to help a dead man. Shall we proceed? Yes, thank you for the explanation. I don't know what's going to happen in there, but good luck. <clears throat> I don't know what's going to happen in there, but good luck. Lux for lotteries. We're professionals. Oh, sharp words. See you on the other side. Patient is stable and ready. Initializing memory transfer. Sequence in three, two, one. Into the brain we go. Into the brain we go. Woo! Alright. Alright. Ah. Alright. This should be Colin's last accessible memory. Yeah. And check out the raining heavy sleeper champ over here. Leave the memory of the of her alone. She's not our client. By the way, I wanted to ask earlier. What's with the helm you put on your patient? Wait, what's the helm you put on our patient? Hmm? The equipment. It looked different. Oh, I just removed the casing during maintenance, that's all. Then why didn't you put it back? Hey, that reminds me. Did you know I added a new feature? New feature? Behold! Never mind, forget I asked. Ah! Character customization? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, this is great. Wait, I saw Mithril. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna go with side part. Finalize. Yes. I love it. <clears throat> Ta-da! Just why? Well, I figured if we're gonna spend so much time working here, we might as well travel in style. Where... No! They got back! I already wasted enough time. 
Oops, did I say we? Sorry, I meant. Ah! Oh, wait, that's exactly what I meant. Tag, you're it. Neil, you son of a. Yes. Oh, jeez. What the cabbage, Neil? Hey. Don't blame me, it's the system that chose it for you. Well, the system is dumb with tomatoes. Whoa, 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 don't insult the system, that's not cool. Uh, whatever, I'm changing back. Oh, come on, it was a lot of work to implement. Uh, besides, you owe me for what happened at the tofu party last month. Humor me for a bit. Uh, you did take a solid hit from me at the tofu party. Fine, I'll keep the look until we could we find Colin. Oh gee, sweet. Nice socks, by the way. Yeah, I'm okay with the socks. Okay, the current memories. Position and time can be viewed by moving the mouse toward the top of the screen. Okay, oh, let turn off the world interaction before we wake her up. <coughs> oh, after all that, I'm surprised we didn't already. Okay, we can... Oh, my goodness me. Uh, ah, you want the hiccups to go away? Colin? Oh, not what the... This isn't a stable copy. Let's find one we can talk to. Um, stable copy. I will look at that later. Hiccups, can you not? In toast. <laughs> Can you not? Never mind. Hello, we're, we're we're still up here. I have to check the bookcase. Apparently, still full of books here. Hmm. He must have cleared it very recently then. <laughs> that one odd book left on there. Mm hmm. And it's missing here. Um. You know this way? Oh my! I am so sorry. Uh huh? Pretty sure the hall didn't look like this. Dude's so old, he can't even remember his own home. <laughs> but isn't the machine supposed to autocorrect these kinds of spatial inconsistencies? Well... Oh, hey, look. <laughs> oh my... I'm gonna be so frustrated. Oh my goodness me. I just wanted to make the contract. And the episode. Continue on. Aww, I thought you <laughs> forgot. Nope. Ahem. All right. No. No. Oh, thanks. Turning on. Turning on entity interaction. <clears throat> oh my. <sighs> I want to do another episode. Oh my goodness! Wait. Okay. Colin? My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline. I'm I'm a mem I am a memory traversal specialist in Sigmund Court. And my colleague here is Dr. <coughs> Hattan. Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Call it. You. Oh, you are Dr. Neil Watts. Oh, how did you know? I mean, how did you know? Your name tag. Oh. This isn't what it looks to be, is it? Yep. Yes, Colin. Your procedure has started. I need to stop hiccuping. Good. It's not just me then. Something feels off about this place. Oh my goodness me. If it's as if I'm both here and far away at once. Either this isn't where I think I am or my head's going down hill faster than I thought. I am sorry. More like both, actually. Yeah, fair enough. My wife and son, how are they handling it? They're... 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 They're there, right? Yeah. But they aren't 
prancing around, that's for sure. Although, given the circumstances, I guess I'd be worried if they were here. If they were, son of a gun. Listen, there's a, not a lot of time, and it's best if you eat. Get started. We are on the most recent slice of slice of colon that we can lo that we can load up, and the only relatively reliable version that we can interact with for info. So, I hope you can assist us in completing the mission. Oh, of course. Why would I not? Good. I'll keep your state safe so we don't need to have this conversation again. Psst. Run a save on his state. <laughs> yes, your highness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, in order to help you relive your life, you're to fulfill your last wish. We are first going to backtrack through your memories to co connect your timeline. And then we'll be able to transfer your desire all the way to your younger <laughs> self and run the algorithm for you to live your life here all over again to fulfill your wish. <laughs> Anyhow, Colin, we need your help. <clears throat> to jump between memories, we need mementos. They're items of importance to you that connect one memory with another. Do we have one here that we can <clears throat> jump with? Whoa, slow down. We still don't even know what his wish is. Oh. Uh, oh. What is it that you want anyway, Colin? <clears throat> Colin. Son of a gun. <sighs> Actually, I think I can answer both of your questions with <clears throat> this. <clears throat> it's his Sigmund contract. <clears throat> the text is rather blurry, but... Oh, oh memory. <clears throat> it is a memento. Sweet, let's move. Oh, uh, wait, no, 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 he needs, he needs, he needs to, <laughs> guys, I, I know I'm clicking and everything, but like, this mementos barrier shattered, <clears throat> it is by itself since it's so recent, but the next ones won't be so easy, we need to charge it up first, <clears throat> yep, yeah, prepare, I know what we're doing, uh, oh, this is <clears throat> different, Oh. oh my goodness me. Alright. Activate. Thanks. We might come back f for your help again. Did, did you see the weird thing? Huh, oh. Like right here. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright. <clears throat> oh. Alright. That's it for this episode. That is an hour of footage I gotta cut down. Oh boy, because I had all the troubles. <clears throat> oh my goodness me. Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. There's not and <clears throat> She got other videos in the end card, uh, so on and so forth. But if you like everything on the channel, hit subscribe. If you like this video and everything on the channel, if you want to be notified for the next uh, Finding Paradise video, uh, hit the bell notification. And, you know, leave a comment. You can check out my own socials. I streamed this on my Twitch channel, and that's about all you need to know. Uh, oh, oh geez. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. This is Ejanin 107, signing off. <laughs>